Okay, this is a continuation of the worksheet, the OO worksheet, uh, which I sent uh, in the group chat already. Okay, I thought I'll break it up into a few videos so that it can absorb better. Now, um, for this particular question, uh, it is on uh, sketching, sketching of trigo graphs. Now, for sketching of trigo graphs, uh, very importantly, right, you take a look and then you decide which one to start with. Okay, we're going to start with this trigo uh, cosine graph. And uh, at the trigo graph itself, uh, you must always draw the center line first. Okay, why draw the center line first? Uh? Uh, it is to help you, right? Uh, avoid making any careless mistakes. Okay. So, let me see. Uh. Let me draw the X and Y first. Okay, I didn't draw beforehand because I want you to see exactly how we should draw. Okay, you let, uh, draw this, draw that. Uh, and then uh, you... Actually, by right, uh, by right, you should plan first. Uh, you know the center line for this is minus 5, right? Then later, uh, uh, minus 5 is somewhere here, right? Then you know that you are going to go up 8. From the center line then down it okay that's why i'm giving more space for the down because later uh, minus 5 minus 8 i'm going to go to minus uh, 13 so i'm going to you see i gave more space at the bottom the top right maximum i'm going to go to is minus 5 plus 8 which is 3 all right okay so i'm going to use uh, uh wait I, I label first uh. I'm going to draw the center line first. Uh, wait, uh, minus 2, minus 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, then this will be 13, right? Okay, so this will be minus 13. Uh. Okay. And where's minus 5? Minus 5 is here. I'm going to draw my center line for minus 5 first. All this you use pencil, okay? You don't use pen like me, you use pencil. Okay, now, that is my y equals to minus 5. That means this step 1 is done. Okay, now I'm going to look at this. And this is my amplitude. Amplitude, uh, don't care whether plus or minus. The amplitude is just 8. Okay, and I'm going to plus 8. So it's 3, right? Uh, it's going to end up at 3. So this will be 2. And then this will be 3. So I'm going to draw again my center line for this uh, oh, not center line sorry the maximum value the maximum value of this graph uh, will be 3 all right and the minimum value will be minus 5 minus 8 because it can go amplitude means uh, the furthest you can go from the center line that's 8 right and the furthest you can go below uh, the center line that's minus 13 uh, done already, right? Okay, done already. Then you can start to do the next thing. Period. Okay, this is a cosine graph. So the period uh, is going to be 2 pi over the number. Whatever number is here, uh, so it's 2. So it's pi, right? Uh, that means in pi radians, it's going to go one full cycle. But there are you have to go all the way, you have to draw all the way from 0 to 2 pi. So what it means is, okay, I'm going to label here. Okay, I told you already, uh, you can label at this center line, then later transfer to here. Okay, you label at this center line, uh, you'll be less confusing for you when you draw. Okay, uh, so I'm going to, oops, I think it's a bit more to the right. You see, uh, uh, what were you doing here? Uh, uh, I am doing what? Uh? Yeah. So I am doing one full cycle first. That's pi, right? Then later I'm going to repeat another pi and I'll reach 2 pi, which is my final destination. I don't need to draw beyond this. Okay? Now, I'm going to focus on this first. Uh? So I know that there will be quarter of A, quarter of A, quarter of A, and so on, right? Uh, so it is pi over 2, and half of this will be pi over 4. One quarter, one quarter, one quarter. So this must be three quarter of pi. Are we good? Okay. You can start to draw this. 
it's less confusing because if you draw the whole thing right then later you forget where your uh, one full cycle is already so i will strongly recommend you just draw this first once you have finished your quarter of an egg uh, then you can continue now i know that it's going to start from here but if you don't know right if you don't know that i told you you press calculator uh sub zero okay because this is where uh x equals to zero right uh, sub zero you'll find that it's three huh uh you will find that the, the value is three then you cannot go up anymore right cannot go up uh, because this is a maximum so it must be quarter of an egg okay then next it will be here right then be here right then be here right uh then quarter of an egg quarter of an egg quarter of an egg are we clear ah then now you see huh? you have done one full cycle already now you know you need to draw another cycle right half of it half of this half of this and then you keep on adding one quarter so uh, if you don't know right this is one pi one plus one quarter is five over four uh, then you plus uh, is six over four right that's three over two okay then you plus uh, uh, is uh, seven over four okay you press your calculator to help you uh. then you're ready for the quarter of an egg quarter of an egg quarter of an egg quarter of an egg so you draw quarter of oops my this one not not there's no support there you go and draw a better one uh. don't 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 draw like me uh. Uh, quarter of an egg quarter of an egg then you must label this okay we've done this many times already class we've done this huh in the classroom right so many times quarter 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 huh? okay so you should be very good in this huh? if you are not good right uh you don't know how to draw they can't see me huh? okay now so doing this done uh now how do we draw this quite some time ago i taught you in class how to draw this but i suppose some of you would have forgotten now how do you do it huh? very simple this is just y equals to m x plus c ah but of course the c is zero lah because there's no number here right okay so how do you draw this ah always use zero zero ah, is a very nice number to use why because most of the time you throw zero in ah, the other uh coordinate will be zero so you throw zero here right oh you have one point already yeah that's all huh? then now you must be strategic must be smart okay don't blur blur anyhow do things huh? i want another point and all uh, what should i sub x okay what should i sub x uh here such that i end up with a very nice number very nice number ah so i think about it right if x are huh, uh, because x can be until 2 pi right i sub in 2 pi uh, then i will get 2 pi times this right that means like that bye bye so it's minus 5 right wow such a nice number okay you see we want nice numbers uh, in order to draw very accurately you see so when it's 2 pi it's minus 5 when it's 2 pi uh, it's minus 5 right okay then you draw uh using a straight uh using a straight or a ruler la. ruler of course is straight one right uh we got hey no no not true right because you have curved ruler uh. uh so not all rulers are straight there are curved rulers around you know okay after you have done this uh labor labor you must labor you don't labor right in the exam they will minus one mark from you okay now after you have found this very good you have gotten many marks already uh now you go to the next question hence find the number of solutions of this equation now as i told you in class uh, your job is to manipulate this until you get maybe this or this on one side of the equation then the other side right will be of course this equation okay you see how huh? okay so uh let's let's start off with something you are comfortable with huh? do you want this or do you want to start off with this oh okay so 
I am trying to do this one can I see that oh cosine cosine 2x wait uh. cosine 2x is equal to cosine 2x do I have cosine 2x? Very good. Pi, eh? No pi, eh? No pi, eh? And down here, right, is 8. So I divide by 2 to get the 8. I divide by pi because I don't want the pi here. I'm trying to get this plus or minus this on one side of the equation. Do you understand? Okay. So once I divide by 2 pi, eh? oh, this will become 5. Oh, this will become... Uh, minus 5x over 2 pi and this will become what i want which is 8 cosine 2x you see i've gotten this already from here okay now i need a minus 5 oh the minus 5 is here ah uh, so i so-called bring it over maybe minus 5 ah okay okay there you see automatically uh, this fellow appears on this side so uh, what does this mean then you ask me huh what does this mean it means uh, that this y equal whatever right is a line right and this y equal whatever whatever here right is a curve right you are solving this and this graphically uh, uh they are solving these two simultaneous equations right graphically graphically means what they ask me graphically means what uh by right uh, if it's a plotting right then you can find the x uh, x uh, x uh, x solution right x find x, 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 x solution right but they only want number of solutions ah uh, they always ask like that one confirm they ask like that number of solutions then how they just see how many times they cut each other the curve cut the line one point two points three points four points so your number of solutions will be four finish okay now very importantly uh, you must show this working how you get from here to here okay you cannot say oh i know la i know they always like that one always they ask me like that uh, then where they cut uh, like that like that uh, okay uh, but let's say uh, in the exam let's say you don't know how to show like me right you are clueless don't know how to show uh, then you take a risk uh. you <coughs> don't leave blank right you just uh, assume that they are finding this curve intersect this line so you just count 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 and then you just write four uh, at least you get one mark okay don't leave it blank huh? okay we'll do uh, one more question huh? I think uh, then next time that we do I, I, I see now no time now I don't know what time now okay uh, okay we are supposed to prove this right very simple lah. Huh? You ah, you remember cotangent? Cotangent is remember this that we always do, cos over sine. Or you can write one over tangent. But then you see ah, uh, you must always have the n in mind. The n in mind. Your aim uh your aim sounds like eim it sounds like aim right your aim uh, this cotangent right is actually cos over sine whereas this cosecant secant gen, gen, is one over sine ah so uh, a good strategy right is to change all this to sine and cosine understand uh, so what I, I done here uh, is change this cotangent to cos over sine but because there's a square here so I must write square here square here okay then underneath at the denominator there uh, when I change this right it's 1 over cos right okay <coughs> so uh, uh, it's 1 over cos uh, then you plus cosine x this one cannot do anything right just leave it uh, don't worry don't worry i uh, can just leave things as they are one okay don't don't disturb people if they are already fine 
Uh, then now what do I do here? Uh, this balance stays at the numerator. This times this sine square times one is sine square lo, over cos right. Uh, then now can you see that is cos square divided by this so I can flip right. I can flip uh, flip. Flip means cos times cos square, so it's cos cube. Uh. Then the sine square still remain at the denominator. Okay, now what do I do now? You see your n in minor uh, is something times something, right? So it's like a single fraction. Whereas down here is something plus something. Cannot. There's no plus here. That means you must change to single fraction. How to do that? Uh, make the denominator the same. Correct? Uh, then you will have this. Okay? Then now my denominator same already. I can combine them together. Very happy. Huh? And can you see that I can take out cosine, cosine, common factor. Cos times this is cos cubed. Cos times this is this. Then don't you agree that this fella is 1? You must be able to recognize it. Huh? It's in your formula sheet, by the way. Do you remember in the previous lesson I said you only be tested on this, this, and this. So confirm they will test you one. Huh? Confirm. Ah, the other eight, the other eight that I show you last video, right? Not tested. Ah, next year then tested. Thank you, COVID nineteen. Yeah. Okay, now next one, ah. Huh? One ready, right? So ah, can you see? Can you see? Yeah. Cause. Cos sine times sine sine times sine ah then you split them up ah. you split them up then you can get the answer already finish yeah okay so you can work backwards on a class you can write these then the next previous step you write these ah of course you won't know after this step is this step you don't know but you know you know this is this right you can write this one in the O levels they will give you marks for writing this also okay so don't just I uh, think you have to work like that. If you work, then you get stuck, right? Work from the back. Uh, reverse engineering, okay? Let me see. Uh. I think we do one more. Uh. We do one more, okay? <coughs> uh, do one more. I uh. think should be okay. Now, prove this. Uh, proving, uh. proving very simple one class. Very simple. As long as you know all these. Uh. Anyway, these three are in your formula sheet. Uh. Oh, you know this, you know this, you know this, you know this. You can prove already, okay? In your coming end of year exam. And always prove from left to right. Normally, it's left to right. Lah, huh? Okay, then you have the N in mind. Ayo, how come? It's not single fraction. Ah, uh, then you must take note. And then your end result is sine and cosine, right? So it is a good strategy, ladies and gentlemen, to change this cosecant, secant, a uh, cosecant. Cosecant, so it's one over sine. This one is cosine over uh, sine. This is sine over cosine. Sine over cosine. Change, change. You see, this is this. This is this. This is this. This is this. What to do with this tree? Ah, uh? this tree is just a doggy. Doggy follow. Okay, follow the numerator. Doggy, you follow the numerator. Okay, you don't go under. Ah, uh. uh, you just follow. Just follow. Okay. Now what do I do? You combine this into a single fraction. Why? Huh? If you don't combine into a single fraction, you cannot do anything. Ah, okay. So now we do the top first. Huh? I must have... I got sine, you must have sine. Correct? Uh, I got cos, you must have cos. Okay, then you end up with this. 3 sine square minus 2 cos square over sine, uh, cos sine. That's for the numerator. Okay, now we do the denominator. Uh, denominator almost the same. Huh? No big deal one. Uh, I got cos. You got sine. I need to have sine. I, 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 so you have cos. I need cos also. Now same denominator already. Huh? You write like that. Isn't this again your good friend? Confirm come out one. Okay, O level. Uh, not O level. Uh, me, uh, when of your exam confirm come up confirm confirm okay then now uh, you flip uh, flip always other one fraction in a fraction then you flip 
this divided by this right you don't flip the top uh, top stay where you are stay stay it's the denominator that flip uh flip ready right this will cancel this ma. this will cancel this then you end up with this only uh and isn't this one you see isn't this one and then we are left with this radio finish uh okay then they say uh hands solve this ah always like that one okay this kind are uh, very simple can you see that this is this Okay, even if you can't prove, uh, part 1 cannot prove, right? You can do part 2. Change this, which is this. See? This is this, which is this, right? Use this instead. Why? Because they say hence. Hence uh, means you need to change this to its equivalent form, this one. Okay? Uh, then you right here. Now do what? Now you must use our good friend, Edmed. Add mat right uh, so you have the equivalent form e first is it in the equivalent form yet where sine or cosine or tangent is alone no it's not so you change it to alone ah uh, be smart keep the cosine because cosine uh, is uh, not being squared oh those that are being squared uh, you try to change it to the other ratio how Remember, sine square, cosine square, they are related by this uh, equation or this identity. So, sine square is 1 minus cos square, like that. Okay, so this, this is like a formula sheet, okay? Anyway, these three formulae are in your formula sheet. Then you open up brackets. Huh? Cos, cos, cos. We are quite happy, yeah? But you got to arrange that in the quadratic formula okay i mean in the uh, uh form a x square plus b x plus c then you use your quadratic formula you see i divide throughout by two then i sub in minus b plus minus b square minus four a c all over two a right then you press calculator you get this and this cosine cosine cannot be this ah uh, why because cosine Maximum value, uh, quarter of an egg, quarter of an egg, quarter of an egg, quarter of an egg. Maximum value is 1, what? Minimum value minus 1. So how can it be minus 4? Uh, you reject. Alright? So you work with this. Use your add mat. Where's the add mat? Uh, equivalent form ready? Yes. Uh, check the domain. X is between... Uh, 0 to 360 uh, here 0 to 360 so uh, mode is in degrees I find the alpha which is here then ASTC see uh, I want cosine positive right cosine positive is where here and here uh, that's all then I take this which is the first quadrant then 360 minus this finish okay very simple huh? okay we'll continue uh, another time thank you